Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Stank Gamers, and welcome. So today's Thursday, and we all know what happens on a Thursday. We've got an exciting new update from the Space Engineers developers, and you're probably wondering what you'll be seeing in this week's update. Well, you're quite excited to introduce these new conveyor sort of sorting blocks. How interesting. Anyway, I'll show you exactly what it does. So if we go into our menu and just press G to bring up our little HUD, as you can see, we've got Conveyor Sorter. Now it's quite simple to build and they're available for both large and small ships. But what do they actually do, Aaron? Well, it's quite simple. So say before here, we can transfer items freely between two cargo containers. So I can place this in here and then I can sort this between that and the other cargo container there really simply using the conveyors and back into my inventory so we can go back and forth now if, say for instance i want something only to go one way this is how this works so this arrow block says the direction it's going to be facing so if i put in this corner the actual construction components i can move it to the other one but now if i access this other container and try to move them back i can't so very interesting very interesting indeed so this is going to really help maintain our sort of systems now you can also void this system by mistake so if we go back into our inventory and we select ourselves some conveyor tubes and we circum circumnavigate the actual conveyor sorting machine you can actually see we've navigated around it and we'll still now be able to actually sort things in reverse order through the system as you can see here so that is how that works now it's not just as simple as that this block actually has a whole variety of features on the inside. So let's actually have a look at them. So the first thing is filter mode. So blacklist and whitelist. Now what do these do? So if I pick one of these options, say um, we're going to select R, and I add R to the blacklist, it will not allow R to travel through the conveyor sorter. Very interesting. Now we've also got these little new filters here so we've got ammo we've got components we've got hand tools that are more general filters and then we've got the specific sort of filters here so we can say we don't want any explosives in this machine because that could be extremely hazardous so we keep all explosives through a separate filter and you could just use that to navigate and remove them now we also have the white list now the white list allows it to say right we're going to allow that item through the system so say for instance we want to allow gravel and we want to allow gold ore through the system. So the only things that will travel through that block now are gravel and gold ore. Very exciting. Let's actually have a look at some of the systems that you can do with it. So let's move on to having a look at some more advanced systems using the sorting block. Now, say we want to automatically pull items from this cargo container onto that other one. Say it's like a mining resource sort of factory. And how could one do that? Well, it's quite simple. All you've got to do here is enter the items you want in this small cargo container. Then we're going to add that to the whitelist. So for instance, we've added displays as our filter. So we've said all displays are allowed through and into that other cargo container where we're going to store them. So if we place some displays into that cargo container, you'll know how they instantly drop out and they start to filter across through the collector and into the small cargo container. So they pulled through here and into this cargo container very interesting very interesting indeed let's recover them displays and move on to a little bit more of a complicated invention so let's connect that up quickly so we can add power to this system now this is a basic factory i've overcomplicated a little bit just for coolness and display terms but i'll show you how it works so for instance we drop our ore in here so let's get ourselves some ore to actually drop we're going to add it into the menu so we've got some cobalt ore we're going to spawn that into there. It drops into the machine. It is then pulled through from the first storage cargo container into the refinery where it is then processed. Then it is moved on to the assembler. So when it comes through here, the actual ore, we don't have enough ore actually in there at the moment. You can it processing. But it's going to come to the assembler and then we're going to ask it whatever we want to process it. And from this point, I've told it to sort the processed items out into different crates. So let's just drop in a few things into this connector here. So we've got displays, we're going to drop them. We've got construction components, we're going to drop them. And we have some missiles, we're going to drop them. So we're going to have to probably give that a little bit of a kick, I think. Get in there, go on. Oh, that's not going to work. I'll have to slide it in the side or something. Oh, not at all, there we go. It's all puffed in. 
So hopefully they've gone into the assembler and the assembler has then sorted them out into the required cargo container. So in here, if I'm correct, there should be construction components and there is, so it's sorted them. Now, where has it put the others? Now, this is a very good question. Oh, look, it sorted them out into their cargo container as well. And we can't actually put the wrong one in the right cargo container. So if we move over to this one, I'm not sure what I told this cargo container to collect. Nothing, by apparently. You can, you can always quickly check these by if you go to the actual message beforehand and then check it out. So if we go to the little block here and we tell it what have we actually whitelisted so in this one we've whitelisted girders so in that one there should only be girders so that's why there's nothing in it nothing in there so let's just check what's in here so there are the displays that we're looking for and this should be whitelisted for displays so let's just check that out head over here and look it is so that is a basic sorting system now say for instance you put the wrong thing in one container you've got a lazy employee in your factory and he drops something in here that shouldn't be this is why this extra pipe is here so this pipe here redirects everything pulling them out of them containers sorting them and if they are something that shouldn't be in them containers it puts it back through the system until it is in the right one so any of them lazy employees just dumping things in the wrong containers will soon be sorted out with this system and won't cause a problem now the final thing i want to show you is the sorting block on smaller ships and the other thing is that it shows red when it's out power or not connected up correctly if we add a power block you'll see it turns to yellow so that's how you're going to know if it's actually functioning so you've got this very thin panel that should be very easy to work with plus you've got the arrows on all the sides so you're not going to connect it up wrong so we've got this simple mining ship and the idea is instead of filling up that first container and then having to manually transfer it to the rear one We've added the system in the middle so it transfers it to the back so i've just done an open plan one in here so you can see how simple it is so all the drills feed all the ore into the front container then this system pulls it into the back very simple very effective and it stops one from filling up and then actually having to manually do it so if we just turn this thing around you can see we've also got the um, antenna the laser antenna trying to do some work for us so if we drill a little bit into the rock here and we blow off our bloody thingy cell that's not a good start is it so let's just actually see if it managed to get any of the ore into the container. So if we go onto inventory and we look down, so you can see there's nothing actually in the first large car container. It's all been moved to the second one. And if Aaron wouldn't have put bloody engine on the wrong place, we wouldn't have bloody snapped it off, would we? Right, okay, stick that on there. And there we go. Test this back out. Now, the final thing I want to show you in this update is a new feature that's been added to the antenna block. Now, I want you to notice how it's not actually tracking onto any specific sort of laser antenna in that area. So you can see we've got the laser antenna, and as we rotate, it's actually locked onto a specific position on the map. So if anything actually enters that area, another laser antenna enters that exact grid position, it will then lock onto this one. So that's another little cool feature. They've also allowed for some modding for warheads that I'm not too good on the whole modding front, but basically you can create your own sort of warheads and explosives. Another interesting little feature. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.